action RPGs. Yeah, up next is Cobra Triangle Any Percent. Oh, no, I, uh, pardon me. Uh, we've got, uh, yeah, Any Percent by Shining Dragoon. I like to think of Cobra Triangle as the Dark Souls of NES boat combat games. So if you're interested in something like that, uh, stay tuned. Oh, some donations I should get to here. First of all, Setra Blues donated $50 and said, Kabuki Quantum Fighter is one of my favorite games ever. Thank you for running it, Mythical Nine. You're the man. And thank you for your donation, Setra Blues. Coming up in a few games, we'll have River City Ransom, ran by Yelsrake and... Ultra Mat Man donated ten dollars referring to that said RCR is one of the greatest NES games ever and hands down the funniest NES game ever. We have a cat named Mr. T, so this money goes toward that name. Now I'm off to enjoy a nice relaxing sauna. I am envious, Matt. Uh, Matt's referring to a donation incentive we have going on right now where you could choose the name of the character in River City Ransom. That'll be in any percent run by Yelsrake, the current world record holder. Although, thanks to your generous donations, uh, we met the incentive to rescue Sidney, the girlfriend, uh, in River City Ransom. So he'll also be stopping off to do that. But if you want the character named after yourself, uh, get in your donations right now. Abitball is in the lead. Uh, with quite quite a lead, a little over five hundred dollars. So it's going to be pretty expensive to get your uh, the character named after yourself in RCR if if you want to go for that. But I'd encourage you to try for it. You've got a few games left. Once again, Cobra Triangle next. I hope you're looking forward to that one. It always interests me, no matter how obscure the title is that we run here. There's always someone who says, you know, that was my favorite game. One of our major donation incentives throughout the week is the save or kill the animals in our Super Metroid 100% race coming up. We had a $5 donation from Mal who said, my seven-year-old son was watching and said, you have to kill the animals if it's a speed run. Duh. Kill the animals it is. We have people on the other side of that too. Uh, Squirrely donated $75 earlier and said, not long after my wife and I met, she gave me the best description of Super Metroid, and I quote, you get to kill that thing with the brain, and the jellyfish thing tries to save you, and you get to save all the animals. So I'm donating to save those animals because that was the most adorable thing. That does sound adorable. I, I like that description. Right now, Save the Animals is ahead by just a little bit, and, you know, combined, we've put almost $100,000 toward that donation incentive, so thank you so much. And we're over... $450,000 raised for the entire marathon. If you donate right now, there's just a plethora of prizes that your donation can qualify for with certain minimum amounts. Even just $5 donations will get you an entry in for certain things. When you go on gamesdonequick.com to donate, the official rules are also available there if you're interested in how those prizes work. So let me talk real quick about our next unmet incentive that's not a bid war, like the River City Ransom character naming. Way down about a day from now, we'll be having a Cornerstone run by Dr. T-Chops. See, that's Cornerstone, the Song of Tyrim. Now, Dr. T-Chops is going to be doing an any percent no credit skip run. However, if we meet a $3,000 incentive, we'll have a bonus any percent new game plus run. And that is uh, at about $335 needed out of the $3,000 total. So we could use some help on that one. If you'd like to see an entire bonus run by Dr. T-Chops, uh, get your money in toward Cornerstone, the Song of Tyrim. If you have nothing else uh, you're interested in donating for, I'd suggest that one, because who doesn't love more runs?
Once again, I'm Prolix. I'll be reading your donations and announcing for our runners for the next few games. I've got one here that's relevant from Mike Z28. Thank you so much for your $55 donation to Prevent Cancer Foundation. Mike says, Cobra Triangle. This game was my college roommate's favorite, or if it wasn't, he certainly played it enough that I remember it that way. See, there you go. Now, I had not seen Cobra Triangle prior to when I saw Shining Dragoon practice it. I, I admit I was ignorant, but there's always somebody out there who's, who's seen these before. Turbo Tom donated $100 a bit earlier in the marathon. I just wanted to get around to his comment. He said, I'm lucky that I don't have any fran friends or family that have ever had this, but for those who are currently battling cancer, don't give up. You are awesome, and you can do it. I agree, Tom. Thanks so much for the donation. And Connecticut donated $100 as well, saying, Every year I donate in honor of my mother, who is a cancer survivor. Thank you for everything you do and for pulling the community together for this event. Thanks, Connecticut. All right, enough of my Dark Souls analogies. We're kicking it over to Shining Dragoon and the couch for Cobra Triangle. Are we live? All right. Oh. So yeah, um, this is Cobra Triangle. Um, if you ever played, um, what is it, Pro-Am, RC Pro-Am, it looks kind of similar. There, there are races in this game. They aren't really races. It's just get to the end before you die. I, otherwise, it's, it's, it's a speedboat. You go fast. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of things that can screw you over. But otherwise, I'm good to go. So um, we can start in um, five, four, three, two, one. Go. Okay. So this is Cobra Triangle. It's pretty much one of the hardest NES games, at least in my opinion. <laughs> uh, this was the second game I got when I was three years old after Mario, so uh, I had a rough childhood. <laughs> so, but he's gonna show you how to do this like a real man. So this first level, if you can get um, these little drops off the ends of the boats, that's awesome. It's not entirely necessary because you'll be able to get the upgrades you need by the end of the second level. But if you can get speed early, that obviously will save you a little bit of time. Like, right here I got speed, just saves like half, like ah, nothing. But if you get lucky spawns, you can um, get that speed a lot sooner. It saves good, like three, four seconds at the most, if you get really lucky, I guess. But now I have to actually be slightly more careful getting my power up for this one so that I have enough to get my speed and gun up to the point I want it to be. So I'm at max gun, I max speed, so now I want to max out my shots. I'll be careful, I don't want to pick up too many weird things. So I'll definitely get the twos first. This kind of, um, whenever you get a point, it moves the bottom screen along one and then you press select to grab whatever you want to grab. So this is the best up gun upgrade in the game. You can actually get one past this, but it's, it's crap, you, you don't want it. And if you go past that too, oh, let's see, do I get the one ups? Nah, sometimes you can grab them as you fly away, but these dispose of mines in general are where I lose my time. They, the enemy boat cheats. Like, sometimes it'll accelerate weirdly. It'll, it's just not. It's what makes the game interesting, especially the final one. Ah, and if you don't shoot those, which I probably should have, sometimes they oh, whoa, 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 OK. Whoa. Just get in there. <sighs> sometimes the hitbox is interesting. It's all it needed to do. All it needed to do. See, that lost like that lost a decent chunk of time right there. <laughs> All right, so these you just reached the end. Um, got things in your way. Obviously, just gotta dodge them. As long as you do the map 
basically the same way each time. You get the same pattern. Like I was expecting another set of those to spawn, but they didn't. So I was slightly surprised by what came. But overall good enough. It just spun me around slightly. So you said um, you, you used to race this game a bunch? Yeah. And we should race the second boss because it was so hard. Yeah, we had a harder time beating that boss. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that, that guy, it moves around. If it, you get past like his head, he'll try to slap you with his tail all the way back. So you just got to um, gun him down real quick so he doesn't have time to slap you. If he does, it wastes like maybe a second or two because you probably did a decent amount of damage before he did it. But so if you hit all of these, you get an extra life, but you don't want to do that, right? Yeah, I mean, you get enough extra lives in this run playing it normal, so you don't really need to get one for, like, safety purposes. Like, it, it wastes maybe half a second, a second. You just move slightly farther down, you get the one up. These aren't that hard, but if you mess them up, you waste a minute. Because that timer, you'll, like... You have to keep all these people safe, well, at least most of the people safe, until that timer goes down. So what I like to try to do is keep as many as live as possible until the final, like, 20 seconds. I've never actually done it that I've, like, almost saved everyone. Someone always gets taken. I've, I think if you save all of them, you get a one-up. Yeah. I've never gotten that one-up. Yeah, that's true. There are UFOs with missiles that stun you. you. Got these random people in the middle of the water. Just, I don't even know why they're here. <laughs> um, okay, that that's actually slightly annoying, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Every single person you, that is left, it has like a little tick. So if you only have one left, you only get one tick, two, obviously, you get that second person. It's, it wastes like 0. 0.3 seconds, maybe. Uh, let's do it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah <laughs> nice. <laughs> so you can do things like that. If you die at the same time you beat a level, it um, just, you explode. You don't even lose a life. And then it's just like, all right, you, you did it. You, hit, you got to the ending. You might, you're good to go. All right, so in this one, I want to get up to um, four points so I can get that missile. It's very useful. Well, no, no. Actually, I don't want to even get the missile. I meant to get off that jump, though, but that didn't happen. It wastes uh, three or four seconds if you miss it. What I really want, though, out of anything is to get... Holy crap. All right. So hitboxes on those um, jumps can be kind of wonky sometimes. Like, I was a little bit off, but I felt like that second one should have worked out. I might actually die on this level. Well, so those little um, turrets are completely RNG. You can stand directly in front of it, and it'll shoot uh, in front of you, behind you. Sometimes it hits you, but otherwise it just kind of shoots where it thinks you might be. It, like, it has a general idea that you're there. It just doesn't actually, like... It, like, they built in a chance to, for it to miss you, basically, I guess. But then again, this is NES programming. Who knows what um, they were trying for. So we, force is very useful. It'll, um, once I actually get to the level, you'll see why. Don't blink. This boss can be kind of trolly. Yep. If it if it charges a lot, sometimes it just yeah. If you go to the top right of the screen and you shoot down, it's though it won't hit you for some reason. Like it just doesn't know how to hit you in that corner. But it does waste a lot of time because you can't get in the nice hits. Have, have you got any glitch when you, after you kill the boss you die for some apparent reason? Like you die randomly for some reason? Uh that happened to me, like, Not wipe my eye. randomly. Like, usually I know when I'm supposed to die after the boss. Okay. 
This time, I'm going to actually go and grab the one up, just, just because I've lost two lives. I'm like, eh, go for it. And then you can see that when you actually kill all of them, you do get that one up that you might um, wonder how you're supposed to get as a kid. And this <laughs> is an annoying level if you mess it up. If you don't have force, you're kind of, you're just not going to like this level. I did that a little early, but I was low on life, so I didn't want to accidentally smack into another one. So what you want is three of those little um, planes to come with you. Each plane stops one of those um, ic um, icicles from spawning. So if you have three of them, none spawn, and you can just shoot um, straight through it. But they spawn fast, they go up fast, and it's really annoying to... Um, deal with them. Uh, this is probably my favorite one of the Dispose of Mimes. It's not that hard if you get into the rhythm. Ooh, okay. Also, also, those little planes can do... They have a little machine gun attack. Usually they barely, like, tap you, but sometimes they really feel like it. They can take almost your entire health bar in one pass. It's kind of annoying when that happens. Usually it's not that big of a problem, but... I guess that one's pretty easy. Like, the, if sometimes when they do the little pass, they'll just shoot the heck out of you. All right, this one, it's a simple just get to the end. If I get points, that's awesome. If I don't get points, I'll get enough in the next area. That doesn't matter. So. What you finally saw was if you hit one of those ramps, it'll just launch you. It um, used to skip parts of the level, all that. Well, the first two of these in this one is optional to really take them. Obviously, ev every single one you get saves time. But then there are ones you have to hit or else you just hit a brick, like a brick wall. Right there. If you miss it, you just smack into the um, smack into the scenery, and you just feel bad about yourself. When I go through this map again, well, because they're very original with this one, for some reason they have this map twice. No changes whatsoever. They just have this exact same map, map twice. And then we got a little double there. We didn't get any um, drops. If you go out of your way to get them in this level, I, it kind of helps, but you should be um, good otherwise. So what we want in this next level is to get two missile upgrades and then have enough left over for force. Oh, and then there's all these bombs around too. Okay, we're all good. So the bombs do a decent chunk of damage. The only way to destroy them is to fly over them. But after you get your force, you don't really need to do that anymore. So you just kind of hug the bottom, wherever. Get that one up real quick, why not? Sometimes the bombs feel like spawning, sometimes they don't. It's good to get that one up because sometimes these bombs can troll hard. Ah, dang. I was trying to kill myself so just to show off the little trick again. All right, well, now this is the best guard of the people. If you mess this up, you don't know the strat. Well, the best part comes later, hopefully, when you just realize that they have no idea what to do at this point. All right, so they're, they're still coming. I'm gonna let them grab one or two. That one comes rocketing around the corner. Uh, still got a couple coming after them. Are they done? <laughs> uh, all right, there we go. So yeah, for some reason, when we get up into this little right corner, eventually they just all decide, 
that the map is too hard and they can't find these people anymore. They're, they're trying really hard. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll, we'll see them in just a little bit. But for right now, they just have no idea what they're doing. So as soon as it gets around like 12 seconds or so, I usually just grab one. All right. Uh, nope, they're not there. So let's try here. Ah, yeah, there we go. There's a couple that stuck right there. Come on, take them. All right. <laughs> See, now they're only one tick. But so they get like stuck in the like the top left and the t um, bottom right corner. They just get stuck there. All right, let's see if I can pull off this little glitch. Uh, slow down. Yes. Yeah. This waste a decent chunk of time, but it's so cool to look at. Because you waste time because obviously it's bouncing you across, and then going across this way it loses you time too, but if you can go for it, why not? I, there's no chance I could have ever pp this at this point. All right, so now we got our full, um, full upgrade. We got the last upgrade um, we need for force. I just have to be careful not to press that select button or get another um, piece. Because while this force is not necessary, it makes the second to last boss faster, but you don't need it for the second to last boss. I don't need any, I, I should be, well, should be good on one ups from now on. And like I said, this one, I just, I like killing these first couple guys. It's fun that you can kill them from behind, but otherwise, you don't do anything. You don't, you don't want to try to shoot everything in this level because if you accidentally kill one of those um, boats that have the ones on them, you really don't want to pick them up at this point. Most of the time lost on this is if you're bad, like me, you run into the wall, but you, most of it is if the um, little turrets actually feel like hitting you or not. If you just go straight there, I've never gotten hit by one of those missiles. I guess if you like hug it really close, maybe? I don't know. But there's no reason you could, should get stunned by those. You can just do some donations for the rest of this level. I mean, there's nothing to it. A legendary axe donates $25 and says, so many awesome games, so many awesome gamers. This whole event is inspiring. Keep up the good work, save the frames, and save lives but kill animals. If you do too many spins there and you land at an awkward angle, you'll actually lose time because it kind of has to um, reposition itself to get to um, the straight line. So as long as you don't do it too much, you're good. All right, so this one, there's a little mechanic in this, oop, there's a little mechanic in this game. Ah. I screwed up the first um, little set, so that threw off all the rest. All right, so these will prevent anything from spawning for as long as they're on the screen. We're going to get these guys. A little bit, we'll get these guys again. You can actually dodge them really easily. I was just being sp um, pretty good at this game and was not <laughs> dealing with it right. But what I was trying to say is there's two... Um, in the first couple level levels, you can either turn left or right. If you turn left or right, you actually get a different ending levels. Like, that one has a chance to either be that, or it has a chance to be another icicle level. And you don't want to do another icicle level, because icicle levels just are horrible. But, and that, that make, the next one makes it even worse, because not only does it start, um, like the second set, it goes fast, they start moving too. So they pop up fast, they move side to side fast, and it's just awful to dodge them. This one gets a little bit trickier because if you have a bad um, timing on that um, whirlpool, it can just block you horribly and then the gra guys will grab it. That was actually a lot better than I was expecting. I usually drop one on this level just because this one cheats more than all the other ones combined. All right, so let's make sure I get this. All right, easy peasy. If you 
if you drop any of those cycles, you just like die two or three times because you, the whirlpools are in awful places. It's just, should I use the force? Yeah, I guess we're doing a speed run, so I'll just do it slightly faster. So there's two ways you can kill this boss. You can use force, or you can literally sit there and do nothing. And then it'll just die by itself. If you shoot it, it'll kill you. Yeah. But if you just let it sit there, it'll die. <laughs> All right, this is an awful, awful fight. Oh, oh yeah. RNG'd already. <laughs> <laughs> Great RNG, great RNG, expecting this. Awesome. <laughs> so you can only hurt this boss while it has its mouth open, and then sometimes it decides it doesn't feel like really getting hit either. That was me just had bad positioning. Every single time you uh, miss a cycle, it goes faster. All right, that's a good one. See, we want to take like entire halves of life at the same time. All right, so what I'm, I'm gonna try something here. If you die at the same time he eats you, it can have some fun side effects. Ah, too early. All right, and time. So that was kind of awful. Um, <laughs> I had a lot of mistakes, but you can get the gist of what I was trying to do. But So um, the real person who should be here doing this is Kananaphone. He is kind of insane. Um, when it comes to this game, like, I think my sum of best is, uh, it's some random number, it doesn't matter. But it's still one second off of Kananaphone's time. It's just, he ha that run had so good RNG, so good everything. It's just yeah. amazing. So yeah, and then we got these, this cool, cool um, credits um, music. Uh, I guess the entire point of this game was we're saving those guys and those, uh, planes, they jump into our speedboat and we can fly away, but if we could fit all those people into our speedboat, why do we ever need to protect those people in the first place? Couldn't they have just like gotten on board <laughs> and like then they wouldn't have been dragged away? I, Who knows? You got the helicopter <laughs> that only takes you to the next area. It's just an interestingly thought out game, but that's in the end. You can actually um, easily score rap in this game. So you, you'll end the game with like 10,000, like 100,000 points and get last place. It's not like any of the saves anyway, so it's all good. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> so that's Cobra Triangle. And, yeah. right. and, really nice. Oh yeah, if, really nice. And if you didn't know the song, Spencer Ray here. I, I, I'm not entirely sure if we actually said our names. Like Shine Dragoon, Spencer. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't matter. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Follow this man. <laughs>